Welcome to Reykjavik Grapevine's newscast. My name is Valur Grettisson. I'm an editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. This is, of course, Polly. Uh, we are here at Gallery Port, one of my absolutely, uh, like, uh, uh, favorite uh, galleries in, in Reykjavik. It's at Laugavegur, smack middle downtown. Uh, and we're here to talk about art, not, uh, not news. Uh, as you can see here, we have some work here, but I'm going to speak with both the, the own, owner or manager of the, of the gallery, as well as the artist that is putting up the show today. Uh, and his name, his name is, of course, Artni Maur Erlingsson. Uh, I'll write it if you, if you didn't get it in the first try. Uh, this is the reason I have a mask. Keep in mind, I've seen that a lot of people are like quite, um, quite startled when, when not both uh, people have masks in Iceland. It's not uncommon. I do this to protect him. I am around more people than he is. Also, the COVID cases are down on to 10. So we are like in a very good position. So forgive us. I want to show his face so he's not going to wear a mask. OK. Uh, welcome to Regio Greipas newscast, yeah, Ar Arni Maur Erlingsson. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is your paintings. You have been working for this uh, at this for what, f up, up to uh, seven years? Uh, no, the, like the idea, yeah. yeah. Uh, but the this idea. exhibition yeah. I've been working for like for one year, but the idea comes first when in, it's around maybe 2012. Yeah. Me and my friend, we have like this open workshop at Lunka, uh, east, uh, like an art festival in the east of Iceland. And then uh, there I start like drawing all these symbols and like all these forms and I start actually with like something like this. Okay. And it, it, it like it feels like it's like almost letters. It's like you can see obvious E and I here, yeah, but then yeah. it get more abstract in this. Uh, are you thinking about letters or are you just thinking about the, the forms? Or? Uh, like the letters are always like maybe somewhere underneath because of like all the graffiti I did as a teenager and stuff like that. But I tried to avoid it for these because I was like always when I was drawing this up I was like oh yeah it's like almost like a letter or <laughs> almost like something so I was yeah. trying to do something else. But you started as uh, gra in graffiti. Yeah I started was... in writing on walls so mm -hmm. yeah yeah. So you evolved the, from there into like, can we call it high art? <laughs> oh yeah, like fine art. Fine yeah, art yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it started all, all with like, uh, I'm not keen on using vandalism, but like, yeah, <laughs> doing this like this graffiti thing. So part of it, like when, when you look at the, these paintings, you can see like almost like um, it's like chaos or something. Yeah. And the, the the bright colors and everything. Is that like? Something that you like, you hold on from the graffiti days, or yeah, and you can also see like the symbols. They like used like always these like crowns, like these old yeah. school crowns and the arrows and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And of course, I use also spray cans, so it's like it dwells all, always underneath. But uh, the thing is, I like uh, the process of like doing this like layers by layers, like I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. paint on paint, paint here, and then I calm it down with the green one, like like around, okay. which is just completely calm, so. Yeah, there is also like, what, what do you use? Are, like, are you actually using like pens or like sharp paints or like? I, like, I use like, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like uh, here we have like just uh, acrylic paint. Here we have a stencil and like uh, just a spray can. Okay. Here's a pen, here's oil painting in the back. Here's a Posca. And so we, I just use like all kinds of paintings on this. And the idea is you're more focused on the form, or are you? And where where does that come from? Is it why the form? Why the form? Uh, I, I'm not sure I can answer that like with like something specific. I don't uh, have. It's just like kind of a drawing thing, drawing style that I always tend to do when I'm just like waiting for somebody, or I have like uh, I'm just looking around my sketchbook and then just drawing around. I, I always tend to like draw these forms again and again and again. So I don't have any specific reason why I'm doing this or why is it why, why I wanted the thing I wanted to do like now why I wanted to do is like in a whole exhibition was just trying to finish this chapter. Just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. 
But then, of course, you have like a chaotic version of, of these forms. Yeah. But I, I actually, I, I asked him when I was coming to, to do an interview, like, yeah, you're doing an exhibition. Can I just help you hang up pictures or something? Yeah. <laughs> a painting, sorry. Yeah. So, so we're gonna, I, I have to help you with this. Yeah, we're uh, going to look at your talent. Yeah, but what I, I notice here is that uh, it's much more like, uh, like, almost like a design thing, you know, it's like, it's like much more, uh, what do you call it, uh, disciplined. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is kind of like a development of a form. Like if you see okay. the first one, that's like the easiest one. It's like just comes here and then I take that drawing and I just like transform it over and over again and it ends like it starts here and ends ah. in like this more like just start simple and end in more like a, something else. But you also like in this one, if mm. I can just put it up here. Yeah. Uh, you 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 literally explain the the concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is like a, a space shuttle with holes. Yeah. <laughs> in, in like a rough translation. Yeah. So was that a, the idea, or is that something that you basically like find uh, afterwards? That's or? that's something I didn't start up. I didn't start with the idea when I started drawing the forms, but. When I was finished with them, I kind of needed like some explanation of all of the forms. Okay. Just a little title for every one of them. But this, so, ac this actually is very unpractical. It says like, uh, f like a new kind of uh, play racial blade. Racial blade, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think you're gonna cut it. Well, like if you use, use them in face, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know in what <laughs> sense you should use it. It's like, yeah, it looks like a sadistic thing to do. Yes, yeah. at least. But okay. Oh. But then it's also like good thing when you're doing things like this. You always need to have like a screw or something in your mouth. But you have a mask, so I'll just do it. Like, <laughs> you have to have something around. But the other thing I see here is like uh, there, it's humorous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that a, a part of your like when you are approaching things and when it comes to art? It some, sometimes takes it such. No, such not itself. usually. Like the last thing I did was like. Uh, just about the sea and everything around the sea. Oh, yeah. And uh, this thing also is like, it's all kind of forms and that's like also some genre in the artwork which has like been done over and over and over again, yeah, also yeah. with the sea. So the humorous thing is like, I like it a lot in like other works and other artists, but it's not like a, th a thing I do usually myself. So we need like three centimeters here in between every one of them. All right. We have here like a, a mixed superhero. <laughs> mixed superhero. And here we have the other side. Yeah, the other side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't make sense, but it's humorous at least. Yeah. <laughs> and then I use this font for my friend, like, I think it's the only Icelandic uh, font lab. Okay. It's called Ore Type. Okay, o only Icelandic font lab. I I've, like. There's a lot of people in Iceland who like make fonts, okay. but I think they are like the only like uh, company who only mm -hmm. do fonts. This is the specialized in yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Okay. But he also does like a lot of design things, but he like uh, his main thing is like making fonts, and he's been doing that for a lot of years. So. Okay. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the gallery itself. Uh, you run this gallery. You have done that now for almost like what? Decades? Almost five. Yeah, almost five years. Five years. Yeah. We started in March 2016. Yeah, okay. And I just moved back from uh, Berlin. I was living in, first in Leipzig and then in Berlin. Okay. Working in kind of like this, uh, where I ran this art and music festival. Okay. And we finished that with like touring with like five bands and 20 artists from like Netherlands, uh, Germany and Iceland. Okay. And when I came back, like I was like, okay, now I just have to focus on my like own career. I have to do something yeah, for myself. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, a friend of mine owns this computer store and he called me and said like, you, we can have a space here for like three to five months and you can like use it for some art related things. And I was like, yeah, nice. Okay. And hooked up with two of my friends, Thorvald Jonsson and Skarpien Bergturusson. Okay. And I think if he had called me and said like, you can have a space and like run a gallery here successfully for five years, I would have <laughs> said no, like I can't do that. But that's the other thing. It has been incredibly successful. You have had like uh, tons of exhibition. It has yeah. been a talk of the town, and it's been a quite like a success story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have like we have helped a lot of young artists like have their like first three or four exhibitions here. We try to tend to use with uh, work with artists that are like in their first ten years of their career. 
and we have had like a lot of success of like selling art, uh, exhibiting it, and getting a lot of it into like the media and, and around to people. So yeah, we've been doing a lot of good job and getting a lot of nice help from people and artists. So. But how is it like? Uh, I mean, we are always have to go to like things like money. Uh, is yeah. it like? Uh, do you like uh, like in, in the COVID? I mean, you would think that uh, small galleries would go flat broke like in a, in a minute. Yeah. But that's not happening. No, and I think also the reason is like because we are not going abroad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And we are always like uh, if you go to Sorpa and stuff like that, you see like everybody is like renovating at home. Yeah. <laughs> so exactly. we are closing our biggest years since we opened up the gallery. And we really? at the same yeah at the same time we have had to been like we have had like three months or something where we have, have been closed so yeah so you this year you have you have never sold as many paintings and art yeah as uh, for like 2020 that's incredible it's only good news for this year <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. exactly yeah so so the Icelanders are actually. Uh, would you say like they are discovering like art in Iceland, or are they are they very keen on new art? Or yeah, we have like like if we if we talk about like clients or, or anything like that, we have like some group of like collectors, but like our biggest like uh, audience is just like young people. Really? Yeah. Um, young people. And then you mean what? Uh, up to thirty years old? Or? Uh, I would say up to, up to 35, 40. Okay. Like people who have like uh, are buying like their first big paintings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because and that's the thing we also want to do. Like now we've seen we've done this like pretty well, and we want to do more. Yeah. And now we want to try to make like we are going to open up like this Galliport editions where we're going to make like prints and stuff because we want also. There's a lot of young people who want to buy something nice for their home. Yeah. But they're in school and stuff, and they don't have a lot of money. And it's easier for our artists to like offer them something if we do it like prints in like edition of 25 or something. And it's easier for for the people to like buy their first print, to exactly. buy their first work yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah. And are they like? Uh, it often feels like uh, visual art is not that accessible for many people. Do you think uh, like? Uh, this is changing, or is it just a completely bonkers statement that I'm saying? No, I think it's right. I think it's right. I think I think also like people are nervous like accessing this. Yeah. I was just at the dinner party the other day, and, and the people was asking me there like, how do I buy art? Yeah. How do I do? Do I just do I just walk into a next gallery and say, hey, hi, I want a painting, or yeah. how do I do it? And also like because I like to collect art as well, and. Uh, Sometimes you could like contact the gallery and they make some private links where you can see it and stuff like that. And it's also like people are like uh, a little bit afraid of like asking questions and like they come to an exhibition and yeah. they think they need to know everything about it and stuff like that. And the thing about art is also like uh, you have to read a lot and you have to like know a lot about the artist to just yeah, yeah. know the works and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah it's but it's getting like. I think it's getting more and more popular to like know your things about art mm -hmm. and like collect art and yeah. But also this gallery has been very like supportive for young and new artists, which yeah. means that uh, like are you benefiting from this and are you? Uh, this has been like this has been a pretty tough game for us. Uh, yeah. It's been a lot of a lot of like work and but now we have been doing pretty well and. We get a lot of help, and we couldn't, of course, we couldn't be doing it because we have like a, a extremely amount of like talented artists that want to work with us. They yeah, want yeah. to have exhibitions here. They want to help out, yeah. and they want to make things work. And I think we could like have like three or four spaces like this yeah. with full schedule. Really? We are like, yeah, we wow. have. We don't have a space for a new exhibition until January 2022. Okay. So, yeah. So it's, it's, it's blooming. The, it the, is blooming. The, the culture, the, new, the younger scene of artists in Iceland. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it seems exciting at least. It feels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's also exciting times now, like uh, downtown Reykjavik is like, they are, it's changing. Yeah. We don't have like all these uh, stores which was only made for, made for tourists. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of open space here. And I think also the reason we have this space here and this space open 
it's just because the owner of the computer store he yeah. opened up <laughs> opened up 10 years ago when we had a lot of things downtown yeah now we don't have so much downtown you could go like 10 years ago you could go to an exhibition a concert and everything like yeah. just at the same evening just downtown but exactly it had been so expensive to do this and i think and i'm hoping now that like this change of like these empty spaces and stuff will make this happen again all right uh, Altne, thanks for talking to us. Yes. Uh, it's been incredibly uh, enlightening. I have to show them, though. I have, I have to show them what I've been hanging up here. My, my, <laughs> my, uh, in, uh, my contribution to this uh, in um, exhibition. What I love here is basically this one and this one. It's the same thing. It's a harmonic, but this is with a with a hole, and this one is basically upside down, like on on the what do you call it? On the side. On the side, yeah. <laughs> But that's it. That's it for us. Uh, we'll see you at news uh, on Monday. Uh, depends when us want to want to publish this. <laughs> but until then, of course, uh, remember our high five club and like and subscribe. Remember our international subscription option. Also, we need 300 subscri subscribers, and then we can uh, publish a magazine again. So. That's actually what we want to do, uh, and we want to write about this, although this is absolutely wonderful also. But thanks, and goodbye, and until next time.